How would you know if you need glasses? Do you know what symptoms would tell you it's time to see your optometrist or your eye doctor? Well, I'm going to tell you all about it today. Hi, my name is Dave Allenby and I've been an eye surgeon for 35 years. In that time, I've performed around 30,000 laser eye surgery procedures here in London. And that's for patients who are fed up with their glasses and it's time for a change. Now, a common comment from those patients is that they probably needed glasses earlier than when they actually started wearing them. So I've put together the five warning signs that you might need glasses. As a laser eye surgeon, I see these symptoms all the time. So let's break them down. Sign number one, getting frequent headaches. If you ask people about the most common symptom arising from needing glasses after blurry vision, they'll most likely answer headaches, but it's not true. Refractive errors, which is the need for glasses when uncorrected or undercorrected can cause muscle tension. If you strain or squint, you are tensing the muscles in your forehead and around the eyes. You may find you lean towards your computer screen or raise your chin to try to see through the bottom of your spectacles. Postural changes and muscle tension around the head, the neck and shoulders, they are a common cause of headaches. Long hours looking at the television, computers, tablets, cell phones and video games can lead to exhaustion, a lack of circulation, dehydration and eye strain, which also can cause headaches. The most common type of headache is called a tension headache, which can be associated with overwork of the orbicularis oculi muscle around the eyes and face with a feeling like a pressure around the eyes. A control study found that visual symptoms and eye strain were more prevalent in chronic headache sufferers. Bright light was reported to precipitate headaches in 30% of subjects and aggravate them in over 70%. However, needing glasses alone isn't in the top causes of headaches, far from it. However, having up-to-date and properly fitting spectacles can actually reduce your muscle tension. Also, it's an easier thing to rule out. So if you get headaches after screen work, it may be time for an eye exam. Sign number two is that you are squinting often. Other people may tell you this, even if you don't notice it yourself. Do you find yourself squinting to read or see details? Well, squinting helps temporarily improve focus, but it's a clue that your vision might not be as sharp as it should be. How does squinting help us? First of all, squinting decreases overall brightness, which can be beneficial in overly bright conditions, especially with glare from above. It also limits the scattering of light within the eye, leading to a sharper image on the retina. Secondly, squinting creates a pinhole effect, and by narrowing the eye's opening, it allows only the most focused light rays to reach the retina. This reduces what is called the blur circle on the retina and increases the depth of focus by around 50%, making objects clearer across a range of distances. Sign number three is difficulty seeing at night. This issue can arise from nearsightedness and astigmatism or more serious conditions like cataracts. An interesting but not fully understood phenomenon is called night myopia, where some people become short-sighted in low light. It's been known to exist for more than a century and studies have shown that young adults, particularly teenagers, are at a higher risk of having night myopia. People with night myopia may find driving at night difficult and fatality rates at night are up to three times higher than during the day when adjusted for driving exposure. If you can't see as well in the dark, it's best to have your eyes checked in case you need glasses or to exclude something more serious. Sign number four, holding objects closer. Now, if you find yourself needing to hold books, phones or other items closer to your face than before, to see them clearly, this may indicate a condition called presbyopia which is a common age-related condition that affects the ability to focus on close objects. Presbyopia typically begins during the 40s and it happens to everyone eventually. It's caused by aging changes in the lens inside the eye and can be easily corrected with glasses. You can get this focusing problem younger than 40 if you are also long sighted. Again, glasses will correct the problem or for a more permanent solution, refractive lens exchange surgery 
could be an option. Sign number five is lastly, perhaps the most obvious sign, blurry vision. So are you struggling to see things clearly? Well, blurry vision is the classic sign of needing glasses, whether it's for nearsightedness, farsightedness, as well as astigmatism. All these things we call refractive errors. Now, if your vision is blurry in the distance, but clear up close, that's called short sight or near sight in the US. Far sight or long sight is the opposite. Vision is mostly blurred up close, but gets better with distance. Astigmatism blurs vision at all distances, and so is the most annoying. About one in three of us has a significant amount of it, and another third has milder astigmatism. Now, of course, blurred vision doesn't have to be caused by you needing glasses. There are many diseases and disorders of the eye that can reduce your eyesight. So if you're experiencing any of these signs or symptoms, it's time to book an eye exam and talk to your local eye doctor or optometrist. Recognizing these five signs early can help maintain your eye health and quality of life.